learning is an emotional business. Being a self-directed learner means knowing how to face confusion and frustration without getting unduly upset. If you withdraw at the first sign of difficulty or frustration, your learning will be shallow. Think of learning something new as going on an adventure, which will involve hard work, difficulties, moments of frustration, but also exhilaration. When it comes to learning, you need to be emotionally resilient. You need to have the ability to bounce back. Imagine you have a rubber band on your index finger and you stretch it out. What will you feel? Of course, it will be discomforting, perhaps even painful. How can you ease the pain? You can either move your finger towards the stretched out point or you can get the stretched out point towards your index finger. This stretched rubber band is like setting a stretch goal. A stretch goal that takes you beyond your comfort zone and doing this can be distressful. You can do two things to reduce the pain. Either move towards the goal or lower the goal you have set. Now imagine you have another rubber band stretched out backwards. That is, you have two rubber bands on your index finger. One is stretching forward and one is stretching backwards. If you move your finger forward, the rubber band stretched on the back will make it painful. And if you move your finger forward, the rubber band stretched behind will do the same. To rid yourself of the pain, you have to cut one rubber band and move your finger towards the other. Remember, the rubber band in front is the stretch goal you have set. The rubber band on the other side depicts all your negative thoughts. Like you are incapable or unworthy of achieving the goal you have set. Such thoughts limit your potential. To relieve the pain, you need to break away from your negative thinking and move towards your goal. The important thing to remember is that both the stretch goal you set and the limiting thoughts you have can be discomforting or painful. However, one is a good kind of discomfort. The one you have when you decide to stretch and go beyond your comfort zone. This is called creative tension. The painful thoughts that hold you back, called structural conflicts or inner conflicts, are the ones you need to get rid of. You need to understand that too much stress can be bad, distress. But a little stress can be good, which has been called eustress or euphoric stress. One example of eustress is the slight anxiety you feel before exams, that which motivates you to study harder. Fear of failure if you don't achieve your stretch goal and the fear of ridicule, what will others think of me, are probably the two biggest inner conflicts that stop us from going beyond our zone of comfort. The same holds true for learning something new or difficult. We tell ourselves, better safe than sorry. Mental structures we are unaware of hold us prisoners. First step to overcoming inner conflicts is to simply identify and name your conflict. For example, you are not going beyond a zone of comfort because you think you are unworthy of it. Once you identify an inner conflict, its hold on you diminishes. For example, realizing it is thoughts of unworthiness that are holding you back, you can remind yourself with a growth mindset, what Shakespeare said, that soul of joy lies in doing and push yourself. You start realizing you have a choice. Gradually, you understand that even if you don't achieve your goal, it is a temporary setback. Instead of thinking you have failed, you consider failure as data, data that will help you improve future performance. After all, the journey matters more than the destination. Emotional resilience or the ability to bounce back is another important disposition of a self-directed learner.